Agent 47 is coming for whoever is responsible for this bullshit. Is it Epic Games or is it the developers at SnowRunner? Because nowhere does it mention I requires internet to function. So we're in offline mode. We're not connected. And we're going to go to SnowRunner. This game works offline, by the way, without an internet connection. Let's go ahead and load up SnowRunner and see what happens when we do that. And this is why I always make such a big deal about is the game playable offline without an internet connection? Nope, it's not. That's what happens when you try to load SnowRunner offline. It says, oh, there's supposed to be something here. Do you want to try again? But if you go to Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, we've got no issues. None. So I took it to Reddit. And I was told on Reddit, well, not on my post, but on somebody else's post who posted something similar. Hey, Cordis, the tabarnak. It's because the game isn't loading through the launcher. It's loading through Epic Games, if that makes any sense, and you need to be online for that. Well, what the hell is this bullshit about? Supposedly, Epic Games isn't that bad. You're able to play without an internet connection. We've implemented better offline gaming capability. Anyways, that game loaded. So, again, Epic Games is capable of doing that. So let's go ahead and go into offline mode. Epic Games is in offline mode. Why offer an offline mode if the fucking game won't load? So some people could be like, bro, get better internet. I'll just elbow drop you right across the chest like Macho Man Randy Savage did, okay? No. I have to rely on electricity. I have to rely on my TV. I have to rely on my controller. I have to rely on my heart still beating. I don't want to have to rely on the internet just to drive a truck in six feet of mud at a mile per hour. No, not happening. On the PS4 Pro, by the way, I am able to play SnowRunner offline without an internet connection. I always have to specify the words offline without an internet connection because you could play offline but still be connected to the internet but you're just playing single player and this is where communication is important like english isn't even my first language but i'd like to think that i can articulate the words properly and try to explain my point that i wish it was mentioned in the goddamn description like it does for some games on steam so fine you want a DRM and have it so that it's always connected to the internet, at least to boot the game. Once the game is running, if you lose internet, you don't get booted out of the game. So, you know, there's that. But I lost the internet literally like five seconds before I went to load up the game. And I couldn't do that for about 20 minutes. But all my other games on Steam and on Uplay and on Rockstar and on Origin were able to play perfectly fine, just not SnowRunner on Epic Games. So is it a really a DRM issue? I don't know. Because I can't think of a single effing Steam game, and I, and I got a few games, and trust me, I've got 52 installed, I've got 19 meh and almost 200 uncategorized. And I've tried at least 80% of them, and they all work offline. Now, yes, Final Fantasy Online, that didn't work. Well, no shit. It's an online-only game. And it also tells you that you need the internet. That's the thing. Most of these games will tell you when an internet connection is required. I think that's probably what pisses me off the most, more than the fact than it requires the internet is that there's no mention of it so you go into it going what the hell when steep came out we knew it was online only for honor 
originally was supposed to be offline without an internet connection. Then they went back on that, they changed their mind, you needed an internet connection, but they told you about it. What was that other game? Ghost Recon Breakpoint, because Wildlands before it didn't require an internet connection. But Breakpoint, when it came out, you were told you required an internet connection. Why isn't this shit telling me that? And I am going to be honest. I am absolutely enjoying the game much, much more on Epic Games than on the PS4 Pro. 60 frames a second, better graphics, mod support. Yeah, I get it. Mod support's coming to PS4, you know, and Xbox, like, probably when next gen comes out. No, that's a joke. I'm sure it'll be out soon. And, you know, here I am trying to feel superior. Yeah, man. PC, master race, bitch. But if you lose the internet, it's like having a heart attack. It's, it, things aren't just going to work 100%. Sure, some things will work. You might be able to move your fingers. AKA, you can load Ancestors, the humankind odyssey. But you won't be able to feel anything. So yeah, I'm done rambling and ranting. Let me know what you think. Do you think, do you speculate that when it comes on Steam that the same thing will happen in April of 2021 that you need an internet connection. Hell, I could play freaking State of Decay, which is a Microsoft bullshit game because their thing sucks every time there's an update to State of Decay 2. I have to re-download the whole goddamn game. Every time. Minecraft Dungeons, don't get me started on that because that requires an internet connection too. No, man, anyways. Yeah, I'm just really annoyed because had I known that it required a persistent internet connection to load the game, I'm not so sure I would have purchased it because I just recently purchased the, you know, the gold or the ultimate edition on PS4 Pro, but it's not feeling so ultimate on Epic, or I guess it's not feeling so epically ultimate or ultimately epic on the Epic Games launcher. A lot of irony behind that. Because there's no launching and there's nothing epic about it when you're offline. See what I did there? I was trying to be funny. That's cringe comedy. Get with the program. Yeah. So let me know down below what you think technically could be the reason why Ancestors is working offline, but not SnowRunner. Is it really a DRM issue? Is it a glitch? I don't know. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. You didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And as always, hopefully I'll see at least some of you in the next video. Bye now.